Blue Chair Pluga, I can see around the staff members the delight after such a hard comeback from that crash in the Basque Country for Jonas Vingegaard. A stage victory in the Tour de France. Yeah, I'm so, <laughs> I'm so happy for him. You know, this is really, you know, how do you say it in English? Redemption or something? It's really, uh, uh, yeah, I'm so, so happy for him. You know, I was already really proud and, and really happy for him that he was uh, able to compete. Uh, at the start of the Tour de France, and, and now he's even winning uh, a stage, so, wow, a legend. Do you realise this is the first time that Tadej Pogacar has been beaten in a sprinter de, a two-up sprint in a Tour de France stage? Oh, really? I didn't know that, but, yeah. Is this a real uh, sprint? I don't, I don't know. It was a little bit uh, uphill, I believe. Uh, I would not win this one uh, as well, so it's, it's a very difficult one, I think. So, yeah, and after this stage, uh, yeah, everybody is cooked, so it's a different sprint. A very complicated day. It was mentally, physically very hard, very demanding with the, the parkour, the, the climbs as well. What, UAE rode all day, you know, it favoured into to Jonas's hands. I don't know. This is the way uh, Pogacar can can win as well, and he's of course the uh, the best rider of the world, uh, especially on these uh, parcourses. And uh, yeah, he showed it. Uh, he was 30 seconds ahead or something like that. So yeah, you know, it's it's a logical way of racing, uh, I think. And uh, yeah, we had to try to follow. And ultimately, Jonas came back, and uh, yeah, that that makes him a bigger leg legend than I thought. Thanks a lot, Richard. Congratulations. Yeah,